Bernard Kane showed up uh, here at the Pearl Haven campus not too long ago. And one of the buildings that's on this property was built in the early 1900s, and it was used as a boys' home for juvenile delinquents, juvenile runaways, uh, kids who were having a really hard time. When he came on this property, he said, I was a boy in this boys' home, and this place saved my life when I was 12 years old. I got my birthday on December 31st, 1947. I've just made 12. And, and the following week, we have to go, we have to go face the judge. He put me in Wiley School. And so I stayed in Wiley School for eight months. Then I got my parole, you know, to come out. Every, everybody was kind, they were good, even the instructors, everybody was good. As long as you don't make trouble, they, they, they keep you well. Boys, we had mechanics that fixed cars, like the tailor shop, and we, we had everything over there. And downstairs, across the street, we had a poi factory, taro patches, and we used to help them plant taro too. And we had tumbling exercises, you know, and we had movies once a week, you know, in the, in the gym. Spent a lot of time at the beach, though, and, you know, swimming and stuff. And th there was a beautiful school. I, I really enjoyed, you know, staying in Wiley. His story was like bringing it full circle. You know, we're talking 60, 70, 80 years ago that this property was used to help kids, kids who are struggling. And it really resonated with me, given the fact that we've designed Pearl Haven uniquely to bring healing for kids who've suffered some horrible abuse and trauma. And now we're bringing it back to its intended use, which is for this population of children to help them walk that road to healing. I fell in love with this school, and so I had a good life over there. And I ended up real good. <laughs>